Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, come on in and sit down. This is what we like to call the Bible Bistro. This is Daily Dose Radio, five minutes a day, five days a week, studying the Psalms verse by verse. Today we're looking at Psalm 44. We're going to look at verses 11 through 15. 11 through 15 is Psalm 44 today. Now, yesterday we saw the second adversative, which produces for us the idea that God not only can save, but he can also cast off. And he puts them to shame before the enemy. Although the prayer has been, don't do that, yet God still does it. And we're going to continue that today. Actually, we continue the phraseology which began in 10. Thou makest us to turn back. In verse 11 now we read, Thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat, and hast scattered us among the heathen. Thou sellest thy people for naught, and dost not increase and dost not increase thy wealth by their, by their price. So he says there in 12, you sell us for nothing, you don't even get anything out of it. That's just how, how little you think of us. You sell us for nothing. Verse 13, thou makest us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face hath covered me. Now, this is going to, that last verse, verse 15, is going to connect nicely with verse 16. We'll see that here in just a second. Um, let's, let's go back because we're looking at all of these statements of what God has done. Remember, we began this psalm by saying, We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days. In the times of old. And then he recounts that work and says, We didn't get the land by our own hand, by our own strength, by our own sword. He says, I'm not going to trust in my bow, but what is God doing now? What's the work that God is doing now? He says, Of that work, you have made us to turn back, you have given us like sheep appointed for meat, you sell your people for nothing, you make us a reproach to our neighbors. You make us a byword among the heathen. So all of these things, this is God's work. Along with the deliverance that the fathers told them about, the work of God is still seen in even this, that God has cast off his people and is judging them. Now, you'll notice in verse 15, he says, my confusion is continually before me, because if God did that in the past, how come he's not doing it now? How come he's not delivering now? How come he's cast us off? How come he sold us for nothing? He's not even getting anything out of it. My confusion is continually before me, so we can understand his confusion. But it's not just that. But it looks forward to verse 16. And the shame of my face hath covered me. And verse 16 tells us why. For the voice of him that reproacheth and blasphemeth by reason of the enemy and avenger. So people are actually, they're finding their way to reproach God for what's happened. They're they're not trying to view this through the eyes of faith. They're not trying to view this through the eyes of humility or through a voice of prayer, take it to him. No, what they're saying is reproach and blasphemy and scorn of the enemy. So all of that is happening. And so the psalmist says, I'm confused and I'm ashamed of all this said about us and by us. Wow. So this is very real. You can feel the pulse beat of the psalmist here. And it's our pulse beat too, right? Because when things don't go like we think they should, when it seems as if God has turned his back on us, how do we respond? Do you respond like this? Just reproach and blasphemy? Is that is that how is that the right way? Or is there another way? There is another way, and we're going to find out what that way is. This beautiful request at the very end of the psalm. We'll read that, uh, not tomorrow, but the next day. I hope you'll join me then on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.